Well, it's an interesting concept. It's a lot like the defibrillators that are already uh, in use today, but instead of putting this lead, which goes down into the heart, through the veins uh, up in your shoulder, it actually ends up going underneath your skin in the subcutaneous fat, okay? okay. So the, what happens is, is that the very tip of this lead sits up here, and when you shock a patient, you shock from the tip of the lead to the battery itself. The biggest difference between this and the transvenous devices that we typically put in is we don't need to have access to the veins. So this becomes a big issue in some of our patients that require um, their veins for things like dialysis or for if they have a port, if they're getting treatment. Uh, for some chronic diseases, a lot of times those areas will already be taken up and we don't want to add to it by putting a wire in there uh, for the defibrillator. The biggest benefit for this is that it offers us an option of putting in a life-saving device that is easy to take out and easier to put in with less complications and less chance of infection. When they said it was subcutaneous, I was like, oh, that's less anesthesia and less surgery and it sounds small and it's under my arms so if I ever wear a bikini again it won't be noticed so I was thrilled actually I don't feel it um, I did have some soreness uh, 24 hours later but um, I just took a leave and it went away in the second day the third day I didn't have any pain it's an insurance policy it's like a couple paramedics sitting in your chest all the time just kind of riding around and when it need, your heart needs something, they, it springs into action and shocks your heart back to rhythm.